At Conversa, we use Adobe Connect to host our online one-on-one uh, -on -one classes as well as our weekly workshops. Now, Adobe Connect works very well within your existing web browser. However, recently some web browsers, such as uh, Apple's Safari, will require that you install the Adobe Connect add-in to be able to launch the, uh, the meeting rooms. Now, the Adobe Connect add-in is a standalone application. Uh, it is a safe application to install uh, and it works very smoothly with Adobe Connect. Uh, however, if you prefer not to install the Adobe Connect add-in, we recommend you use a web uh, browser such as Firefox or uh, Google Chrome. However, if you want to use Safari uh, then and you're used to using Safari, then we recommend that you install the Adobe Connect add-in. And to do that, you follow the following uh, uh, steps. So I'm going to go ahead and try to enter the uh, the training room here and as you can see here when you try to enter one of these rooms if you have not installed the Adobe Connect add-in it automatically pops up a page that says do you want to allow this page to open the Adobe Connect add-in you can either click on allow or if what you see is rather this message here that says do not have the add-in download now you can try that so I'm gonna go ahead and just do try again and that's going to pop up the message asking if we want to allow that. Now click on allow. Now at this point it is downloading uh, the application and it will automatically install and run Adobe Connect add-in. So this is a process that happens smoothly. Then once the add-in is installed when you log into the Conversa meeting room or your actual classroom for instance it will automatically launch the Adobe Connect add-in. Once you're in the classroom you have to remember that you have to turn on uh, your audio. To test your audio, simply go up to Meeting, Audio Setup Wizard, and then click on Next. Here you'll have an option to play a sound, so you'll simply click on that Play Sound button, or rather you should hear a sound playing in the background. Then you click on Next, and you'll see an option to choose which microphone you want to use. You can use either the built-in microphone or if you have another microphone connected to the computer it will give you the option. So choose whichever one you like and you click on next. Then you click on record. Testing one two three. You stop. Play that recording back. If you're able to hear your voice that means that the recording is working and your, uh, your audio is set up properly. You can click on next and you can either test silence which is to uh, to uh, essentially help you block out background noise. Uh, it's usually not necessary. And then you click on finish. And that's all there is to it. Now you'll see here that there are no controls at the top here allowing me to turn on my audio and video. And that is because there is no host in the room. So once the host appears in the room, that will give me the option to turn on my microphone and my, uh, and my video as well, depending on the type of activity that I'm in. If you have any questions, remember you should always uh, just contact us at 888-661-6858. Uh, and we'll be happy to help out.